Hi, today is Monday the 21st of June and this is the weekly recap on the rhinos. The June rhino closed last week for 8.43 at leverage 1 rec T. But on the PM account I'm trading, I am very conservative, but yet I used a 1.5 leverage. So it's about $1,100 or 2.77%. So it's a pretty good month overall. Here is July. July last week has been trimmed a little bit, not that much actually. I just removed the bottom broken butterflies on 36, 37, 37, 75, as you can see here. And at the same time, it reduced the capital usage to under 12k. Generally, on the descent phase, especially that we've got August coming in less than two weeks. I should either close it or reduce it below 10. So there will be further reduction coming soon. Probably it's just going to be saving this kind of profit line and unbalanced short condo or something like this just to pay for a PDS down here. As you can see, I, my profit line is about the same. I'm below 10. So with this one, I can safely ride through the next two weeks and probably close it. I think this time because the markets are becoming a little bit more rocky and considering there's not that much profit yet still under the tent and because my previous bets have of going into the sweet spot have not materialized I think it's, it's okay we just live with it and close the trade so at this point the trade is doing about okay the delta is flat so there's no rush actually to reduce this but this is something to be action sometime this week apart from that as i said scaling down and maybe closing the trade there's not much to do on this trade august on the other hand needs to be built up it already uses 15k and at this point the trade is about okay and it would definitely benefit from the letting delta build up it's been a long while since i've used a delta hedge on the upside that could be interesting to do so maybe putting on a call calendar up here even before the delta build up sometimes it's quite effective that said it's may, it's maybe still a little bit early on this i will check the iv skew and i think the trough now is about on 40 40 45 25 40 50 so i can also maybe roll the, the ccs down Otherwise, nothing much to do. I will probably use a little bit more capital. I mean, in the last few months with volatility going down, my capital usage per cycle peaked at maybe 16, 17, 18K. When volatility is, is higher, you can put on more capital, although you have to be also very careful, but the trade, but the trade is conservative as it is, so th there shouldn't be no problem. So maybe this time I will add one or two broken butterflies still a bit further up so my, around here and as i said maybe roll down the ccs or just add a ccs i mean these ones don't cost much i mean don't don't pr yield much i would have to go probably around the trough to maybe start getting some push here that is still not satisfactory i mean 70 dollars but that said i mean the strategy management when the market was grinding up going for a fairly high tent and just wait for theta to be released may not have been good enough as you can see i will gradually go more towards atm unless of course the, the, the market drops but i don't see the market dropping fast so i would probably do something that will provide me with a little bit more theta and as i said try and get into a delta negative over time it's still not quite atm let's not forget it. vix was at 20 so it's above the third quartile in terms of stats on the vix and also because the spx vix correlation is very good i should try and move more vega towards the upside at this point it has not been done so i would definitely try and shift some of it north as time goes by of course shifting is a kind of a bearish risk reversal so generally if you do a bearish risk reversal when it's too late it costs you money here it may not cost that much and it would be taken as as i said a vega shift adjustment so it's it's trade management and not an adjustment because you need to do a bearish risk reversal 
but I don't think it's going to be very effective in, in terms of lifting the, the tent. So I would like to get to at least three, four hundred dollars, maybe five hundred dollars. And if I wait too long, there will be definitely no better action than just putting a, an IC, an iron cone door. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing if I don't find the right opportunities in the next two weeks. We don't have much of a capital constraint, so I can definitely put more capital here. 15K is okay, I can go probably to 20. So I will do probably first a Broken Butterfly plus CCS, and the, the, the next adjustment sometime this week is likely to be an IC. Okay, that's it for now. More updates on Slack as usual. The trades are pretty safe, even though the market could actually drop to back to 41.40 and then check. I mean, the, the ne next strong support is actually on 40.60 or 40.40 to 40.60. At this point, there's not much to be worried about. We would still be on a flattish delta, so not much concern. Uh, the only concern maybe will be, as I said, lifting the tent and shifting Vega to the north side. Okay, thank you for watching and bye for now.